Hi, I'm Kat Crum, and I am speaking with Bob Boyle, who is in Artist Alley at the American Library Association Annual Conference Artist in, in Anaheim, California. And um, Bob, I just have a few questions for you, for our ALA blog readers. Um, you are an animator. Um, how did you get into that field? Um, well, like most of the other people here, I always drew as a kid and was the kid that drew in the school newspaper and the literary magazine, went on to art school, was trained as an illustrator, and um, but my big dream as, as a child, I was inspired by Walt Disney and how he just drew a mouse mm. and it turned into where we are today in Disneyland. And um, so I, I followed my dreams out to Hollywood and, and worked really hard to get into animation. And, and, um, one thing led to another, and I got some opportunities to create my own shows, my own pilots, and uh, led to my my own show on Nickelodeon called Wow Wow Wubsy, and uh, did a show for Disney called Yin Yang Yo, and uh, that led to publishing as well. So I'm trying to stick my feet into the publishing world, which is a sort of a natural transition, mm -hmm. and uh, that leads me here to ALA and meeting all the librarians. Okay, can you hold up your book so we can see? I can. This is yeah. my first my first picture book, uh, Hugo mm -hmm. and the Really, Really, Really Long String. Uh, it's on Random House, and also have a book coming out on Harper Con with Harper Collins, Rosie and Rex mm -hmm. behind me there. Yeah. And um, yeah. So. Oh, okay, great. Um, have you had much interaction with libraries um, with the, your, the books that have come out from your television shows? Yeah, uh, not so much with the television shows, um, although Bawa yeah. Webzy sort of gives me some recognition with mm -hmm. the kids. Um, instead of just being a, a, a anonymous author, People go, oh, you're the Wow Wow Webzy guy, and then say, oh, and you also have children's books. So that's been really helpful. Um, it's allowed me to go into libraries and do school visits, and where I really try to inspire the kids. Um, I show them the drawings that I did as a kid, which were really lousy, and um, and it sort of connects with them. Like, oh, wow, he was just like me. He's not just this magical creature who can draw things. You know, so um, by seeing my bad drawings, it, I, you know, it gives them hope that they can do the same. Um, and then I do some great like drawing games with them and have fun, trying to get them to use their creativity. I have them call out three different animals, and then I combine them into one animal. And, and I, at the end, I give them the assignment, you know, that they have to do the same, create uh, something out of three different things, give it to their, and then give it to their teacher. And, a lot of times they'll get sent on to me, which is amazing to see. Mm. Kids are so creative. Now, have you been reading much in the way of the comics that are out there? And could you recommend something? Mm. Uh, is there a book that you think every kid should read? Oh, every kid should read. Or, oh, or, so... or at least a, a, a particular group of kids. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, I know, I always go to Comic-Con and there's always a, an abundance of really amazing artists. Some of them are for older mm -hmm. kids, more adult even here. It's a, a, a mix of like yeah. adult and, uh, and younger kids. Um, all the books on Scholastic are really great, I, I find. Um, you know, of course, Bone is, is mm -hmm. like the classic. Yeah. Doug Tenapple's work, Dan Santat. Um, uh, James Burks has got a new book coming out. Mm -hmm. um, called Bird and Squirrel, which is really exciting. So I think that's, you know, graphic novels is just trying to find its way and how to connect with younger audiences. It did start with sort of superheroes and older sort of adult fair, and it's really neat to see it reaching the libraries and reaching kids, and I think that's just going to get bigger and bigger as librarians understand how they can use it, and as artists understand how to connect to kids and tell kid-relatable stories. Okay. Now, do you, I'm sure you probably get uh, questions from people a lot. What one piece of advice would you give to someone who wants to either get into um, creating comics or into animation? Um, well, first of all, you have to love to draw. Mm -hmm. So, because you're going to be drawing constantly. So, and just draw. Draw, 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 draw. I was not a very good artist. I'm still not the best artist, but um, just practice and practice writing your own stories, creating your own picture books, your own comics, um, and just 
getting them out there and you know, volunteer to do things for your school, do a, a comic for your school uh, every week if you have a school newspaper, or just make your own little comics and sell them to your your uh, your friends. Or um, with the internet, it's so easy now that you can create web comics and share those with everyone, which um, you know is a way a lot of people get discovered these days. So there's nothing really holding you back, you know, with technology and, and the internet. Um, you know, just getting it out there and getting feedback and then learning from it. And of course, taking classes along the way. Um, yeah, just, just don't give up. Okay, great. And one last question, and this is kind of a toughie. Uh-oh. Yeah, I've been asking this. Do you, can you think of anything that libraries should do to promote comics that they aren't doing yet? That they're not doing yet. Um, gosh, I don't know. I guess you know. I, I think that they're starting to do it more, like sort of um, seminars and bringing in, bringing in the artists and, mm -hmm. and authors and um, maybe even with the parents, you know, getting them involved so that they that they're okay with their kids mm -hmm. reading comics and that that's not a bad thing. Um, but I think no, I think the librarians and the library system is doing they're doing all the right things and it's just starting and um, you know I think there's a lot of resources to explain what graphics novels are, that they're not just some junky little comic you know, <laughs> right. value and they're you know there's historical graphic novels and you know it's it's a great way to, to learn storytelling and really you know, uh, appeal to kids.